It's absolutely extraordinary to watch the lineups and the crowds build over the last few days. We were caught up in them ourselves today. It's impossible to avoid. Tonight, we want to try and convey what it's really like to try and salute the Queen from curbside. Central London in the hours leading up to the procession. Many thousands of people attempting access to a moment in history. Orderly, but off the charts. Road closures in streets surrounding Buckingham Palace showed no favorites. Even police were on pause. It's the ultimate test for Metropolitan Police and the hundreds of officers from across the UK, visible but in the background. This city of landmarks, for now concealed by high walls for crowd control. Even Trafalgar Square is hiding behind this small door. Along the mall that leads to Buckingham Palace, mourners 15 people deep were content to keep a close watch for their queen. Some people have stools, some people have ladders. I think I'm going to be able to just maybe see a little bit, but the main thing is just to be here really and uh, witness the occasion. Every person on this pavement is here with purpose. I've been here for about two hours now and we're hoping to see the heiress with the queen casket. You know, that would mean so much to us. I've taken down baby Rome here because he's not going to remember any of this, but one day I can tell him that Rome, we were there. Then, long before the cortege passed, the most amazing thing happened. Thousands of people went silent. Funeral marches from Beethoven to Chopin filled the silence and hung in the September air. As the gun carriage passed, a grieving royal family and her grandsons, William and Harry, in behind. A moment strangely similar to one 25 years ago when they followed their own mother's coffin down this same road. Today, though, was also joy. A celebration of a long life, well lived and deeply respected. It was just unbelievable. It was so emotional and everyone had been chatting and then just suddenly it was just quiet and yeah, it was amazing. It was, yeah, but just, just weird to think that she's in there. Very moving. Even a fleeting glance it was enough, but um, for head of state who hasn't put a foot wrong in the 70 years of her reign, it's absolutely incredible. Very, very amazing. cheerful. I mean, I've served for the Queen. I served on the Britannia. It's been my boss. You know, she's been our family's boss. And now Prince, Prince of Wales is now the King of England, or King of UK, and even King of Canada for now. Then, almost on cue, the crowd burst into spontaneous applause, an emotional release on a remarkable day. On special assignment for City News, I'm Lisa Laflamme in London.